I'm not going to worry about perimeter because we know how to add up the sides and we know that the opposite sides are the same. So 3 and 9 tenths, 3 and 8 tenths. So instead, I'm just going to worry about area. And my area is just my base times my height. Look back at Monday's notes if you want to see why. I'm going to make sure I'm circling just those numbers I need. This is actually a tilted one, so just pretend for a minute if I turned it over. I still have a base and a height. So even when I move a shape around, we're smart enough to figure out which numbers we need. It doesn't change my area, so I'm going to use my base and my height. I'm not going to get fooled by this number up here. If you need to turn your paper around, do it. So my area is equal to 3 and 8 tenths times 3 and 8 tenths. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 6 is 30. Placeholder, 3 times 3 is 24. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. And I have 1, 4, 4, 4. Don't forget the decimal. Two numbers behind decimals. Two numbers behind decimals. 1, 14, and 4,400 miles square. Just make sure you're showing all your work. Start with your formula. Substitute. And actually show out all your work and don't forget your units at the end for other problems make sure you're circling your base even if it's written on top we know it's the same number on the bottom that's why I can circle this one and your height should always be found in the middle good luck